please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss a video from our site. Hello and welcome to TG Class. I am Subhajit Guho. Today we are going to discuss about the various types of money. On the basis of material used, money has been classified into the following groups. These groups are the broad classification of money. The first classification is full body money. The next one is representative money and the third one is credit money. Let us understand what is full body money, representative money and credit money in detail. Full body money. It refers to that money whose face value is equal to its intrinsic value. For example, when the economy was in gold and silver standard, gold and silver coins were full body money. Now what is face value? Face value is the amount which is written in the face of a coin. If you consider a 5 rupee coin in modern day, you will see that a rupees 5 is written on it. That is the face value of it. And intrinsic value represents the value of the metal contained in the unit of money. Now the metal used to produce that uh, 5 rupee coin, the value of that metal is its intrinsic value. Now if you consider a gold coin then the amount of gold that is used in that is known as its intrinsic value. In case of full bodied money, the face value and the intrinsic value is exactly equal. Next is representative money. It is generally made of paper. The value of representative money is much higher than the material used to produce it. Since it is a uh, made up of paper its uh, and, uh, its value is very less as a commodity but it represents full body money it represents gold silvers and huge amounts of uh, bullions etc since it represents various uh, uh, high amount of money it is called representative money the third one is credit money Credit money is a kind of money whose face value is much higher than its intrinsic value. It is a kind of representative money but it's not actually representative money. For example, face value of $100 is much higher than its cons of production. A $100 uh, note is just a piece of paper but it's representing the value which is equal to $100. In this slide, we, uh, we can see that the credit money is subdivided into the following. That is token coins, circulating promissory notes, deposits of bank and fiat money. And the last one is high powered money. These are the subdivisions of credit money. In our next video, we shall discuss about token coins, circulating promissory notes, deposits of bank, fiat money and high powered money elaborately. If you like the video, please share to uh, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Keep supporting us. And if you have any doubt, feel free to comment down below. Thank you.